Hey there, Tim here to talk about leveling up your partitioning by mapping your partition dependencies. Continue watching this video to learn how to ensure data quality while also saving money and resources. You sign into your work laptop on a Monday morning and the first thing you see is an email from a high level director that says, hey, my weekly report doesn't look right. The numbers are much lower than usual. Please fix. You look at your week weekly report pipeline and you feel confused. It ran this morning and it succeeded with the green box. What more could you ask for? After a stressful morning, you find out the error was that the weekly report only had six days of data. During one of the daily updates last week, your process ran out of memory because of a massive spike in usage. With Dagster, you can prevent this situation of sending poor quality data to your stakeholders by using time-based partition mapping. If you're familiar with Dagster, you're likely familiar with assets. Did you know that not only can assets depend on other assets, but they can also depend on partitions of those assets. You can even define specifically which partitions are needed. This allows you to make metrics like week over week easily. Notably, Dagster comes with definitions for hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly partitions out of the box. If you use any of these partitions on an asset, they'll automatically figure out which partitions they'll need from their upstream asset. For example, let's look at this asset called weekly report with a weekly partition that depends on an asset with daily partitions. This will wait until the seven days of that week's data are materialized before trying to materialize the weekly report itself. If you try materializing the weekly report on an incomplete week, you'll get a warning that says that the week's daily partitions are not complete yet. Here's the Dagster code that defines these assets. As promised, there's no fancy extra work involved here. It's just that the weekly report is partitioned weekly and the daily report is partitioned daily. As mentioned, you can also define your own partition mappings in any way you like, such as country data requiring its region's data to be complete. However, these time-based rollups are common enough that they're supported without any additional lift from you. Looking into the data, what happens is that your daily report argument will now provide a dictionary of seven partitions worth of data instead of just being one data frame for that partition. You can then safely aggregate these, knowing that you have a full seven days of data. This is done here with the pl.concat line. This way, your weekly report is accurate and you can now enjoy your Monday morning with one less thing to worry about. You'll no longer have to think about the cold sweats felt by having someone high up email you directly telling you that your work was wrong. Did you learn something new? If so, subscribe to the Dagster YouTube channel to learn more about how Dagster can enable you to level up your data pipelines.